Hi guys, I'm David with MediaUnlock.net and today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the menus and explaining some of the functions on the GoPro Hero Black Edition, um, the fourth GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition I should say. Um, and a lot of these functions are available on like the Silver Edition or the GoPro Hero 3 or even some of them are available on the GoPro Hero uh, 2. So you can get a little bit of information out of this, but specifically we're looking at the Black Edition of the GoPro Hero 4. Um, so the first thing I kind of want to do is I want to do a uh, outside walk around. Let's take a look at everything on the outside of the unit. And then we'll actually go through all the menus and functions and I will do my best to explain those to you. All right, so if you notice, this is the on and off button right here. So if I just push that, you actually might have to hold it down for a second. It will turn on. And then I'll just hold it down for a second. And it will, well, it will turn off. All right, now up here at the top, um, right here, this is your record button. So you'll push this to start and stop recording or start and stop pictures, or not start and stop, but take pictures. Um, we'll go over here to the side. And sorry, this is a little out of focus, guys. But um, so your uh, micro SD card is going to go right here, and you can just pop that out. It's kind of a little bit difficult to pop out sometimes with my big hands, but there's the micro SD card. And then you have a mini HDMI, which is going to be right here at the top and then a USB, which would be right here. This is also how you will charge it as well. This does have a little piece that goes right here, a plastic piece that's like a dust cover. I just don't put it on there because I'm in and out of there so much that I'm just not worried about it. Um, again, so this is how you will charge your battery if you don't have an external battery charger. All right, looking at the back, this is the piece that will connect your battery pack or LED or LCD, not LED, but LCD. Um, any any extra things that go on it are going to connect here, and then they they'll connect from here. the The door, like the hinge, goes here, and then it'll pop into this place right here. Now, over on this side, as you guys can see, right here is the setting and Wi-Fi button. Uh, Wi-Fi button. Wi-Fi button. The settings and Wi-Fi button or function button. And I'm going to explain how all that works. So this is really nice. This is I believe new with the the GoPro Hero 4 series, and this is really cool. And then down here is where your battery is going to be at. So we can just pop that open. Now it does take a pretty small battery compared to like the Hero 2, and I don't know what size battery the, the GoPro Hero 3 takes. And I've kind of got a little bit clunky hands, but I'm able to get it out of there. So as you guys can see, um, this is the battery right here, and it pops, and you've got your battery connectors, which are right there. And then if you look right here, and I'll see if I can get a better shot of this for you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is where your serial number is going to be at. So if you ever have to load anything manually onto the camera, this is going to be the serial number that GoPro will ask you to put into their website. If you're doing like an update or something like that. So we will just pop the battery back in. And one thing that I've always been worried about is like this tab breaking off, but so far it hasn't. That is kind of a scary thing because if that tab breaks off, it's going to be really hard to get that battery out of there because it fits so snugly. So we'll push that back in. And now we will start with the uh, video functions. I guess one thing I should mention that I'll talk a little bit about, and we'll do a separate video on this, is the GoPro app that works with like your iPhone or Android or iPad or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn the Wi-Fi on. So we're going to hold this button down for a second or so. And now the camera is off, but the Wi-Fi has been turned on with the camera. As you notice, you're going to get the blinking blue light to let you know the... Wi-Fi is on. So we're going to set this up here, or we'll put it over here on the side, and we'll bring in the, um, the uh, iPhone I have here. And I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi on, and we're going to go into settings and uh, Wi-Fi, and then I'm going to go find the GoPro setting that I have set up with my Wi-Fi, which is, let's see here, here's the GoPro. So now it's going to connect into that. Once that connects, and it will take a second, as you guys can see. All right, it's connected. And, well, let me make sure it doesn't look like it connected. Let me go back, make sure we connected. Okay, good. We are connected. We can go into the GoPro app right here. And now we're going to turn the app on. And so, oh. 
We lost connection. Let's see if we can reconnect here. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it says that, but it didn't really lose connection. And we can go on and turn the GoPro on if we wanted to. And it is a little buggy sometimes, unfortunately. Um, and there you go. So now you can kind of see my little setup here. And, uh, and you can go. It should go widescreen, but for some reason it's not. There we go. And you can go widescreen. And then you can go in and control all your functions and stuff that way. But that will be a separate video. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that option. You don't actually have to have the GoPro turned on. As long as you've got the Wi-Fi turned on, you can connect to it and can completely control the GoPro. So we're going to go on to turn the Wi-Fi back off. We're going to hold the setting button down. And now the Wi-Fi has been turned off. And we'll wait. And we'll go on and turn the GoPro on. And uh, we're going to start, I like to start with the video functions. So we're going to start with the video functions. And so well, I've got it set up to 720p at 240 frames per second with ProTunes on. Uh, if you guys can notice that, it lets me know my, uh, how much recording time I have right there. Uh, ProTunes, uh, my, uh, as far as my quality or size of video that I'm shooting. And then up here, it lets me know. Uh, this got a narrow instead of the wide it's shooting at narrow. So, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to push the button here on the side and we're going to go into and look at these different video mode functions. So we'll start off with the video mode and we'll hit this to scroll down and then we'll hit this to change. So if I wanted to change, I can change between different sizes of video that I want to shoot. Um, the big thing that everyone's crazy about, of course, is the, uh, the 4K at 30 frames per second. But let's say I want to do 24 frames per second instead of 30. We'll go down, and I have that option. Can't wait till you can do like 240 frames. You know, the GoPro Hero like 7 or something will hopefully have 4K at 240 frames or a lot larger. And then this is going to be your field of view right here. And you can do wide, um, and I think it only does wide in the 4K. So, and if you notice, you've got this little information here. And then what I've downloaded off the internet, just in case I forget something, or if you guys ever want to know what an icon is, you can actually pull this up off and it kind of gives you a little like, if you notice, it kind of lets you know what the different picture does and what it means. Um, so you guys, I'll overlay that. Or I'll add a, um, yeah, I'll put that as an overlay so you guys can look at that at some point in time in the video. So you guys can use that. Um, so we're going to go down. So this is going to be your low light. I've got that turned off right now. Um, I don't even know if I can change that. No. So um, this is going to be your spot meter. Now Pro Tunes. Let's talk a little bit about Pro Tunes for a second, guys. So what Pro Tunes is is it's it's GoPro's little uh, setting or function that allows you to get a more crisper, a better quality picture. So in my opinion, you always want to have Pro Tunes turned on as well. When you've got Pro Tunes turned on you are able to actually um, have more control over your functions. And I'm going to show you that here in a second where you can set your ISO and shutter speed for certain things, so on and so forth. So uh, we've got this, the white balance is set to native, which is kind of, uh, if my understanding is correct, kind of like a flatter, uh, I think, I think uh, GoPro calls it like a raw. Uh, white balance. I don't exactly know what that means 100%, but it's more of a flatter kind of white balance. And But you do have the option, if I want to change it, I can hit the button up here and I can do auto 3000K, 55K, 65K, or native. And I keep it native. Now, um, if you plan to do color correction in post, um, you're probably going to want to go on and put this in flat. So your colors, you have more control over your colors when you're actually doing something like speed grade. I use speed grade, uh, Adobe speed grade. And so that's what I would keep my keep my cameras at flat so I can do color correction and speed grade. But if you're just planning to uh, uh, take some footage, do some quick edits, or just upload it straight to YouTube, then go on and probably put it in the GoPro. It's going to be a little more vibrant, a little more crisper, um, but you won't have as much control over it in the color color correction uh, area. Now your ISO, you can change that. Right now I've got my ISO to set to 400, but I could go higher or lower depending on what I need. Um, and so I've got it set to 400. Sharpness, um, you have a choice how you want to do that. High, medium, or low. I keep mine at high. 
Uh, so this is going to be your EV composition. So right now, if I turn the GoPro on and start to shoot with the settings I got, it's it's got it's got what it thinks is a good composition. Now, if I wanted to over or underspose that composition for some reason, I have that option. So I can go uh, negative what the settings were now. And so this is going to underexpose my my shot a little bit according to GoPro. Um, GoPro's preset settings and what I've got set may not be the quality I wanted and I may it may be overexposed and so I want to underexpose it to get the right exposure I have that choice or if it's underexposed and I want to try to overexpose it you have that option as well but I just keep it at zero unless I need to change that uh, then you can reset Pro Tunes get it back to, to the regular settings but I'm not going to because I like it where it's at and then we could exit but we're gonna go back to the top because you have other functions that you can do within video mode so now we're going to go to the next function option, which is going to be time-lapse video. Uh, so this is set for, this is your intervalometer. This, this picks how often it takes a picture. And as you can see, you can, you can change that for whatever you need. Um, I'm not really using that right now. And then you can check, you can change your quality um, between 4K and 2.7K. Again, you could exit, but we're going to go back to the top and we're going to go to another function. And this is video plus photos. Again, uh, it will take a photo while you're shooting video every five seconds. You can change the quality that you want it to be in. And uh, you don't have the uh, 4K option, as you guys notice. Frames per second, you have that. Uh, again, low light, spot meter. And then we'll go back to the top. And now we're going to look at looping. Uh, so this is going to get your interval meter and you can loop here we go and you can pick the different settings as that's expected uh, video quality again as you can see you can change that field of view wide and it will only let you do wide in 1440 but there is a uh, narrow and medium for some of the video qualities for some of the different uh, video sizes again low light spot meter and then we're going to go on an exit and now we're going to look at photo let's look at the photo options now um, again we got the side we can hit the side button here hit our wrench tool there for settings and we are at night mode to start off with so let's walk through these night mode aspects so this is your shutter now this is just fantastic for photographers and videographers like myself i'm crazy about this mode uh, for the simple fact that I can now control the shutter on the GoPro Hero 4. Uh, so let's kind of let's scroll through some of the options here. Uh, I can do it at 2 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and the best 30 seconds. So if you like to do nighttime photography, uh, this is going to be great because your shutter will stay open just like a DSLR um, for, for up to 30 seconds and, and let light into the GoPro. And, uh, and be able to get some really cool night shots. Um, when I do get around to doing some, there'll be a link here. I'm gonna add a link here. And I'm gonna show you what some of these night shots I took with the GoPro. Um, also, throughout this video, I'm gonna be adding links, a lot of links to this video at some point in time, maybe a year from now, there'll be a ton of links so that you guys can see the different frame rates at the different video qualities uh, and the different time-lapse settings that you can do. I'm actually gonna go out and shoot some time-lapses. So there'll be links, so if you guys actually wanna see what it looks like a finished product um, once you've got settings the way you want to if you kind of want to see what a finished product can look like um, that will be available there'll be links so um, just to let you guys know all right let's get back to this so uh, you can check your megapixels as you can see I like to just keep it at 12 wide uh, is, is my favorite uh, spot meter again uh, Pro Tunes of course is going to be turned on again this is your white balance and your, uh, your color, we've gone over both of those kind of in video. I like to keep them at native and flat, uh, max ISO. So if I'm shooting at night, um, I'm probably gonna shoot at, uh, at, the, at the max ISO, which is gonna be 800, um, so that I can get the most light in. But again, with your ISO, if you go higher than 800, like in video mode, you can go to 16 and, um, and I believe uh, 64, you're gonna lose some quality and get some grain that you're not gonna like. Uh, this is again your sharpness, your EV composition, you can control that. And now we're gonna go back to the top and we're gonna look at single shot mode, really simple here. Um, 12 megapixels, you can change that of course. Uh, shot meter, Pro Tunes is turned on 
and let's see if we get what the highest ISO rate that you can go. So the highest ISO it looks like it's letting you get to um, under the photography mode is 800. Sharpness, EV composition, uh, we could reset Pro Tunes if we wanted to. We don't want to exit quite yet because we've got another mode to look at. Uh, this is the continuous shooting mode. So you can set it to up to uh, 10 frames per second, I believe it is, um, and then 12. And again, we're just going to go through all these. They're still the same, nothing new here. And I believe that is all that is in the photography mode. So we'll go back to the continuous shooting mode, and we will exit back out. And then if I wanted to do, oops, let me go back to photography mode. And that's just, and I'm just hitting this to take a picture right up here. So um, I just took a bunch of pictures. I hit it in the frames per second. So if you hold this down, it can take a bunch of pictures. Um, again, it may take a second because it's got to send the information to the card. Depending on how fast your card is, it, there may be a small buffer. And again, this is going to let me know how many pictures I can take, a lot with the card I've got in there, battery life, how many pictures I've taken, ProTune is on, this is the size megapixel, 10 frames per second, and we're set to wide. All right, let's hit mode, and multi-shot mode. So let's go in and take a look at those. Again, we'll hit the settings button here, and this is probably my favorite new update besides the 4K at 30 or 24 frames per second. Uh, this is just fantastic. This is your night time lapse. I'm a big time lapse guy, and there are times when I only want to take small amounts of equipment. And as you guys can see, this guy, he's quite small, which is fantastic. All right, so let's go through these settings because this is this is my favorite part of the camera. Besides, well, this may be better than the 4K option for me. So I have a, I can control my shutter. Um, so if I want to take uh, if I want to do 20 seconds exposures, that means I'm waiting 20 seconds of light coming into this guy right here, this little lens, 20 seconds are just lights just going into it for 20 seconds. And then it will it will take a picture. So it does that, takes a picture, and it has about a 10 second break allowing it to buff and send the information to the card. Um, and then I've got it set to every 30 seconds, it will take the picture. Now I can change that. And it will take a picture uh, every 60 minutes with 20 second exposure. So if you wanna do something that's gonna go on for uh, days. This is going to be an option right here. You're going to need more battery life than what this guy provides. Um, you may want to hook it up to an external battery of some sort uh, or a continuous. So you have that option. Uh, again, the settings are going to be pretty much the same. Um, Pro tunes are going to be on native, flat, uh, 800 ISO. Unfortunately, I believe that is the highest it will allow you to go, which is the 800. Uh, sharpness, EV composition, reset, and then back to the top. Now let's hit this again. Burst mode. This is another really cool thing that they just, I think they updated it so that you can get more burst, and I'm going to actually show you what that burst mode, how it works here in a second. But uh, I've got it set to, uh, looks like, 30, uh, and you can change it here. So five pictures in one second. I'm going to have it set to, I think I can do 30, 30 every second, right? Uh, then I've got this, and we're going to go Pro Tunes, Flat, and we're just going to scroll through these. We've looked at these numerous times now. And then time lapse. So this is just your basic time lapse. Uh, you just set your intervalometer right here. How often do you want it to take a picture? Um, you know, so if you're doing like, let's say you guys are doing a um, uh, clouds going by, probably uh, five seconds is going to be good. Um, Anywhere from two to 10 seconds for an, a, something during the day, sunrise, sunrise, sunset, maybe every uh, sunrise and sunset, anywhere from five to 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go through these Pro Tunes and I've got all this turned on where I want it. Again, change your ISO. If it's a bright day, you may want a, a, a 100 ISO because 100 ISO is gonna be much better. And what we're gonna do is, and now we've gone through all these, we're gonna go back to burst mode and that's where we're gonna, and you can just go down here and exit. I just hit the, this on the side and that takes me back out but just for fun we'll just exit them that way okay so uh, 
we're going to hit this right here and it's going to take 30, 30 pictures in a second. You hear that? It's crazy. Uh, it's going to take a second to buff. As you can see, it's blinking right now. It's sending the information to the card. The card's getting it as fast as it can take it. And it just took those pictures. All right, so the last thing to go over is our setup. So we're going to pop in there and go over some stuff. So you can turn your Wi-Fi on and off here. Actually, we'll go, we'll go into that. Uh, and there you go. Um, and you can go into that, existing new app, new RC, and you can set some settings up there. We'll go back out. We'll go back. Now you can change the orientation. So if you want the screen to be flipped, pointing, pointing like this way, instead of the way I'm reading it right now, uh, you have that option. Uh, default mode. So when I turn this on, I've got this set to night time lapse. So when I, if I turn the camera off and I turn it back on, it's going to be my night time lapse is going to be set up, and it's already going to have the settings. Uh, one thing to say real quick about night time lapse: change your uh, white balance to uh, probably the 35k. Um, it's going to be best for night time lapse um, because about between a three and a three five is where you want to have it for um, for if you're shooting the stars and stuff like that for night time lapse. That will probably that will properly white balance it. Um, so that's not something I forgot to mention earlier, but yeah, 35K for night time lapses are gonna be about your best out of this camera. All right, so we've got the, the rabbit right here, which is going to be a, uh, a quick capture mode. We've got that turned on, but we uh, turned off, but we could turn it on. Uh, LEDs, um, we have all four of those, so they're gonna be blinking, you know, like we've got one right here. I like that because they're all around the body. Um, and that allows me to know that uh, whatever direction I'm coming in at, I can see if the camera is still, uh, I think there's another one, I can't remember where the other two are at right off the top of my head. But mainly, the LEDs will be blinking, and so you'll be able to see it. I think another one is going to be blinking in the mode here, or this is one of them right here. And the nice thing about that is, is that I can see, I'm like, okay, it's still shooting, if I was, you know, wondering if it was still shooting. So, um, all right, let's get... Through this here, we can change the, the sound. We can turn that off if you don't want that, that noise. You have that option. NT, NTCS or PAL. Uh, OSD is going to be on screen display. You can turn that on or off. Uh, auto off, I have it set to never, but if you know you're only going to be shooting something and then when it's finished, you're not going to be around, you can set it to turn off like a minute or five minutes or never. I've just got it set to never because um, I'm going to be around my camera most of the times. Calendar, date and time, that's an option. You know, you've got that in there. You can change that. Um, delete. So if I want to delete, I can go in and format my card here. And uh, there we go. So we're just formatting the card right now. And now it's empty. Uh, and you can reset cam, which we don't want to because i got settings where I want. So now I'm going to exit. And, uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. And then we're going to turn it back on real quick. All right. And now it's set to the night mode again. Uh, go into settings. And uh, you want to set your white balance to 35K or 3000K, I guess. 3000K for night photography. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Hopefully this helped you out with learning how to use your GoPro.